morning, YouTube. Thanks for joining me again here at Vids Vlog. My name is Carrie, and welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day. the weekend off with a little bit um, of a fun sort of analysis of who I think 2019's number one beauty guru influencer will be because it's fascinating um, to watch these uh, people become so successful so quickly. It's fun to see them prosper and I really enjoy watching their videos. Uh, so I decided to go with my top six, and it's a personal opinion, beauty um, YouTube channels. So I, I put together some statistics, and I'm going to go through it with you, and hopefully you'll like it. If you think that I have missed a beauty guru or someone that should be included on this list, absolutely that I'm off the mark. Please put it in the comments below. I'm happy to do a second video and add that person in and um, and and bring it to you. So let's get going. James Charles, Jeffree Star, Tati Westbrook, Manny Mua, Brett Marock, and other Nikki Tutorials. So James Charles has the most subscribers out of all six. He currently stands at 13,700,000 or so subscribers. He's followed very closely by Jeffree Star with 12.5 million. And I'm rounding these numbers. Um, Nikki Tutorial is in third place with almost 12 million, followed by Tati at 5.3 million. Manny is at 4.9. Bretman Rock is currently at 4.9 as well. So why do I want to look at views? I want to look at views because not everyone that is subscribed to a person watches them or watches their videos. A lot of people just subscribe to keep track of it and occasionally pop in and watch a video or two. So uh, the current statistics for views stand at the following. Jeffree Star, 1.3 billion views. James Charles, 1.1 billion. Tati is just over a billion. Nikki Tutorials at about a billion. Manny Mua at uh, 500 million. And Bretman Rock is about 225 million views. The thing to remember when we're looking at the views number is that each of them puts up a different amount of content um, and it's uploaded different days. Tati Westbrook was uploading five days a week all the way up till this year. This year she announced that she's going to be pulling back a little bit. She's trying to have a baby and concentrate on Halo Cosmetics and their skincare line. So her views may dip a little bit. The next thing we want to look at is their years on YouTube. Jeffree Star has by far the longest um, and the most experience on YouTube. He's been on for 12 years, followed by Nikki Tutorials at 10 years. Tati has been on for nine years. Bretman Rock has been on for six years. Manny Mua, four years. And James Charles at the bottom with only three years. He has only been on YouTube for three years. It's incredible. How old are they? Tati is currently 37 years old, followed by Jeffrey at 33. Manny's 27. Nikki Tutorials is 24, a young 24 year old. Uh, Bretman Rock is 21. And James Charles is only 19 years old. I find that incredible. To look at net worth, I took a look at celebritynetworth.com and I could find. Jeffrey and James Charles, but that was it. So I took their two numbers from Celebrity Net Worth, and currently Jeffrey Star is by far the highest, uh, has the highest net worth, standing at seventy-five million dollars. Followed by James Charles at twelve million dollars. James, 
it's pretty much all from YouTube from what I can tell. I mean, he does have, you know, affiliates with, you know, affiliates. He does have uh, gear, things like that. But he, he's currently, you know, at $12 million. Nikki Tutorial follows James Charles at 6 million, followed by Tati at 1.2 million. That number seems a little low to me, uh, especially if Halo starts taking off. Manny is currently at 800,000, followed by Bretman Rock at 500,000, half a million dollars, um, which isn't bad being 21 years old and having a half a million dollars. When I looked at all these statistics together, I formed a list of who I think is going to be 2019's beauty influencer of the year. That's the person with the most influence to move or shake smaller companies, larger companies, give recommendations, or just be in the news in general. So I'm gonna start the year off in 2019 by predicting James Charles as the 2019 Beauty Influencer of the Year. Why do I say that? I have to give you a caveat. James Charles is 19 years old. He's followed, in my mind, very closely by Jeffree Star. The reason I chose James Charles was because he's 19 years old. He has been on YouTube for literally three years. He was chosen as the first male cover girl, um, which sent him into stardom and started this whole process. But currently, he's worth $12 million. He's in a little bit of drama, but for a 19 year old, he's not in that much drama. I think that his recommendations and his looks and the way people respond to his, his channel affect them in a way that makes people happy. James Charles is followed secondly, very closely by Jeffree Star. I could have flipped these two very easily, but I think James Charles still has a little bit of an edge but Jeffree Star is older, wiser. He's been on YouTube for a very long time. Additionally, he has $75 million net worth. Jeffree Star can do what he wants. He can hire people to help him. And I think that he's quite honest and a really smart business person. I think people really trust Jeffree Star. And I think they trust him because he says it how he thinks it is. May not, you may not agree with everything he says, but I don't ever perceive him as lying. So I put Jeffree Star very close, neck and neck with James Charles, but I think James Charles still has a little bit of an edge. Next, I give it to Nikki, tu Nikki Tutorials. At 24 with, um, with uh, 12 million subscribers, she just announced yesterday, or should I say Mark Jacobs just announced yesterday that Nikki Tutorials will be their spokesperson for 2019. I think she's gonna start taking her game to the next level. I think she's gonna start branching out into areas that aren't just on YouTube, but we'll all be able to follow her and we hope she does really well this year. Obviously, I hope everyone does well, but um, close to Nikki Tutorials, obviously, is Tati. Tati, I put a little bit behind Nikki, and here's my reasoning. Tati came out last week and said she's gonna be stepping away from her five day a week schedule. She's gonna work on um, some personal things. She's gonna try to have a baby. She's working on her cosmetic and skincare line with um, Halo Cosmetics. So I don't know how her people, or her subscribers will react to that. So that's the only reason. I, I don't begrudge her that. I think that she should concentrate on her family. I think she's an amazing artist and I, I'm so excited for Halo Cosmetics, their future and what it holds. So I, I just gave Nikki a little bit of an edge for it. Lastly, was pretty hard for me. I put Manny in the fifth spot and I put Bretman in the sixth spot. Now, it was kind of a hard decision. I had to think about it a little bit because of all the drama that Manny has had in the past six months with other makeup gurus giving the finger, you know, taking a photo that gives the finger to Jeffree Star. I'll insert that photo here. We all know about it. He did take about a month off and did a bunch of apology videos. His subscribers have literally gone backwards so I thought he was on the upswing going into 2019 when he then proceeded to copyright strike a small channel called T-Spill. 
I don't, I, I don't know why he did it. I think, you know, in my last video I said if he doesn't have a publicist, he should get one. And if he has a publicist, he needs to find a new one. Because I think he's going backwards. And he's currently 27 years old, so he's he's pretty much an adult now. We tend to let some things slide with the younger guys and girls. Um, you know, when you're 19, 20, 21, you're, you're, you're still making your way into the world. You're just kind of maturing. Manny is now 27. He's got to think about what he does, how it affects him on every single level. He is a celebrity. People are definitely watching him and I know Jeffrey will call him out every chance he gets. Um, followed by Bretman. I think Bretman, you know, he, he's been on longer, but um, if Bretman Rock really concentrated on his makeup videos, I think Bretman could really shoot to the top of, uh, you know, be a really much more popular influencer. People tend to like him or dislike him. I think he's hysterical. Um, but I still think that he could win a lot more subscribers over and start making some more money. I, I hope he continues to grow this year. I foresee a great future for all of these people. I wish them all luck. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember, don't contact anyone I spoke about. These are honestly all my own opinions and, and nothing is you know, set in stone. If I'm missing anyone, please put them in the comment sec section below and I'd be happy to make a second video with the, those people included. I may be missing someone that I'm not watching or not following. So I would love any feedback you give me. Please like and subscribe and remember to be nice to other people. Smiles are free and the tea is always hot. You have a great day. Have a nice weekend. Bye.